I am 30 something years old. Um, I was born in the exotic destination of West Orange, New Jersey. Many of you may have heard of it. I believe it's exit 17 off the Garden State Parkway. Get that joke out of the way. Um, and I've lived on the West Coast since 1995. I'm Jewish and I have been since the sperm and the egg connected. Um, people, that's the question people most often ask me, how long have you been Jewish? And that's the answer, so let's get that out of the way. Um, my mom was Jewish and when I was born my dad was an agnostic, he was not practicing of any religion. I grew up in a con pretty much conservative household. We had Shabbos dinner, we, held, we had seders on Passover, we had a sukkah for Sukkot, we celebrated the High Holy Days, and I think Zalik was saying in Spokane there were two Jewish kids. So in New Jersey, like at least half the class was Jewish, and so the school was actually shut down for the High Holy Days because half the class and half the teachers wouldn't be there. So it's just interesting to hear that difference. Um, we also kissed the mezuzah going in and out of the house. Like, we were Jews. Okay. Um, <laughs> I went to Hebrew school until seventh grade when I had my bat mitzvah. I also went to JCC day camp. You can see me in the photo. For some reason, the kid doesn't want to stand next to me, so there's a really big gap. I'm the black girl, obviously. And um, I just wanted to mention I didn't learn how to swim at day camp because I don't know if you know what happens to black people's hair when it gets wet, but it's not cute. So <laughs> I um, yeah, didn't learn how to swim. My mom was the daughter of Russian immigrants, and she grew up in an Orthodox home, also in New Jersey. She married my father, who grew up a Jehovah's Witness, but left it when he was 18. Both of their families disowned them. My mom's family sat Shiva, and my dad's family disowned her. Um, when they married, they couldn't ha handle the racial, socioeconomic, religious, or age differences between the two. They didn't really recognize someone's right to fall in love unconditionally, no matter who the other person is. Um, so this is my um, parents' 10th wedding anniversary. They had a second marriage, and they had a Jewish ceremony because my dad converted. And it's really interesting. My dad accompanied, accompanied us to synagogue every Shabbos. He dropped me off and picked me up at Hebrew school. He ate chopped liver. He did like all the things that Jewish people do. And I had no idea that he wasn't Jewish. Um, until a little bit before their wedding anniversary when he went through the conversion ceremony um, and the Beit Din and had a circumcision and did all of that. To me, he was Jewish and it, it really, again, it wasn't until he, his formal conversion that I realized he actually wasn't. Yeah, this is my favorite picture that I own. This is my bat mitzvah and this is my dad's side of the family. And this is one of three times that I had met them. You can pick me out in the photo because I'm the one with the brightest dress and the biggest hair, much like today. Um, uh, so my Jehovah's Witnesses, like I said, they didn't actually come to my bat mitzvah, but they made certain to come to the party and eat all the food and <laughs> drink, <laughs> which I didn't know they were allowed to do that, but they did. Um, when I was a kid, there was absolutely no one else that looked like me at anything Jewish that I went to at all. Excuse me. In 1991, with Operation Solomon, which was the massive airlift of Ethiopian Jews to Israel, it was those images of the Jewish people on TV was the first time that I actually saw other Jews of color. Um, and that year, I also went to Israel and lived there for two years on a kibbutz. And everybody's a Jew of color in Israel. There were less people that looked like you and more people that looked like me in Israel, which was a really interesting experience to have. Um, no one looked twice at me, and no one asked me any questions in Israel about my Judaism, which is much different than the experience I have here in the Bay Area. I get asked all kinds of questions, and I thought I would share some of my favorites with you today. So this is the number one question I get. You're Jewish? Really? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're adopted, right? That's another question I get. The answer is no. Are you Ethiopian? Nope, not Ethiopian. Are you converted? No, I didn't convert. Is your boyfriend Jewish? No, he's not Jewish either. Do you know my friend David? He's Jewish, so you guys must know each other, right? <laughs> um, I get that one a lot. <laughs> Actually, he's black and Jewish, so I think he's your cousin. Um, what's your Hebrew name? And my Hebrew name is Carney Yosefa. And then the really cool people ask me this question. What was your parents' Hebrew name? And you may not know this, but that's a trick question. 
because if you're a convert, your parents' Hebrew name is Abraham the Sarah. Um, but if you're not converted, your parents have a, a Hebrew name. So my full Hebrew name is Karnit Yosefa the Hoshia Raphael the Chavalea, the longest Hebrew name in the entire world. But it's not Abraham the Sarah. Um, how long have you been Jewish? And when I get that question, I have to say, the urge to say something about my mom's vagina really pops in my head. <laughs> uh, Maybe a little crass, but it just, it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I want to be very clear. These questions, they're offensive. They're actually offensive. And I know people are curious, but I think that people need to take time to respect that our, our religion and our culture is changing. And we don't all look like our grandparents looked long ago. Having to prove one's identity is hurtful. Um, it's really hurtful to walk into a synagogue and have a rabbi ask you if you're Jewish or to raise your hand, everyone in the room raise your hand if you're Jewish. Those types of things hurt. Um, and I think we're a religion that doesn't try to purposely prove, like, make people feel uncomfortable. But I fall into the trap. I wear a Jewish star around my neck, so when I do go to synagogue, people won't ask me that question if I'm Jewish or not. Um, our religion is changing and my heart is really warmed when I do go to synagogue. I belong to Temple Beth Abraham in Oakland and I see lots of kids that are kids of color and they were born Jewish and that's really exciting to me because I didn't have that um, ability to have peers my age when I was a kid and so I think that's our future. Our future is going to change and we're not going to be a white Eastern European religion anymore. We are more reflective of our nation and of um, relationships of different types of people. Okay. Thank you.